If you keep your tea on the radiator, it stays warmer for longer. I don't even know why I said that. Hello gorgeous, I'm the Fairy Voice Mother and today I'm going to be reacting to Bruno Mars and quite a few other people I've forgotten. Leave the door open official video. This was recommended to me by one of my singers, Adam, who messaged me and said, you should react to this and put it on your channel. He didn't even say if it was good. So I don't know what to expect, but it's kind of more fun to not know. So I'm just not gonna know. I'm gonna watch it and see what's up. Here we go. A singer, by the way, that can play drums and sing at the same time, I'm already obsessed with. Like, how? It just blows my mind already. He's pulled that vocal sound up from his chest here. It's all very thick called low larynx, very soulful, as opposed to something a little bit more musical theatre, which would have been like, I am playing no games. <laughs> the biggest difference between this kind of singing and that kind of singing um, is larynx placement, keeping it low, keeping the chords really thick. This is just so gorgeous already, very retro. Again, just the colours of this video just like drew me in straight away. It's like going back in time. Quite low balance as well. Transition. The backing vocals are obviously all falsetto as well and it creates that really nice dreamy airy vibe for the whole song. The way that the backing vocals are performed in a record is so important. Like imagine if they were all singing it like, leave the door open, it would ruin it. So a very meticulous technical choice there to keep all of those backing vocals in falsetto, even though I'm sure a lot of these singers could have sung that with a thicker true chord sound, uh, they didn't. They're leaving the door open, they're leaving their vocal cords open, it's all open. That isn't low. I don't know what that means, but I'm here for it. There's so much love we could be making. I'm talking kissing, cuddling, in the bed, girl is jumping. That's right, I'm telling you. I am playing no games. Every word that I say is coming straight from the heart. So if you're trying to lay this up, I'm going to leave the door open. And that transition. now introduced a new way of singing that phrase that was really really beautiful so before we were straight into a breathy falsetto leave the door open but now he's introduced a slightly more reinforced falsetto sound i'm gonna leave the door open girl. a slightly more intense fuller sound quality uh, to reflect that higher note for open so if you'd like to try transitioning between these two voice qualities if you imagine that your voice is a little higher up and a little bit more forward and hitting the hard palate the roof of your mouth rather than at the back of your throat you will automatically get a little bit more um whininess there Very thick. 
No breath coming between those chords. But the backing vocals are still falsetto, right? Play sustained belt. too wow i can totally see why people have just loved this i mean i love it it's awesome it's no secret that i love bruno mars's belt quality anyway i just love how it's so like don't take this the wrong way but it's so like effortful sounding he never takes the easy route for a clean belt it's never very whiny and twangy it always comes from a really low down place he's always got his larynx low and his cords very thick and you can hear how we start in those notes like the one that he added a little bit of gravel to for example it just proves how low down this sound is coming from because there's so much vocal production happening in the throat and it isn't being allowed to resonate in the face there are a lot of muscles in here your extrinsic muscles in your neck that can have something to say about that you can run the risk of strain so you can already see here his tendons are kind of raised but what he's doing here which is very very clever and something that stevie wonder used to do a lot as well is keep his neck moving on the belts like in that hoping section and I'm hoping, hoping that you feel by keeping the neck moving like that you avoid tension of the most beastly culprits in your neck the sternocleidomastoid when you see this really big muscle here tense up in a singer that's not good if that guy's turned on then that's a sign that the singer is forcing something out of their voice that it doesn't necessarily want to do now he doesn't have that he's keeping his neck moving it's just those couple little tendons that are naturally going to come out because of the pressure that has built in his throat However, in this instance, I don't think that's a pressure that he can't handle. That's the difference. If you're thinking you want to use a little bit of his style in your own vocal performance, then uh, find a note that's quite easy for you. For example, um, this note for me is quite easy. Oh, I don't have to try and prepare for that note at all. Just think about it coming from your pelvis. Okay, so think about starting that note really low down and start it with an H. So you're basically saying ho, <laughs> ho, until you get the kind of desired sound quality. And then at the same time, keep working on stretching your voice in a more sort of twangy, thinner vocal cord position on a sound like nay. So you've got the best of both worlds. You've got the thick kind of ho on an easier note. And then for your higher notes, you might want to try something like this. Nay, nay, nay. And then eventually your vocal cords will be really stretched from all those lovely, safe, easy peasy nays that you're doing. And you can combine some of those higher notes now with the ho. Oh yeah! Thank you so much, Adam, for the suggestion. And thank you so much for watching this video with me today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. If there are any singers that you would like to see me react to, please leave your suggestions in the comments. It would be my pleasure. I hope you have a beautiful day. I love you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye!